how bad is this? Is the sun in your eyes? No, I think as long as we get the angle right, we're good. Hi friends, uh, I'm back with another vlog already, I know. Uh, and I have some very, very exciting news to share. And uh, it impacts all of us in a certain way, primarily me, obviously, but you a little bit as a, as a viewer of the channel. It does impact you, so I wanted to kind of rush the next vlog and talk about this. So, as you probably read in the title or saw in the thumbnail, I am writing a book. Like really, like I'm actually writing a book and it's going amazingly. I've got about two chapters done. They're not as long as I want yet, but each time I read, reread through them, I add more paragraphs and stuff. So they are growing and they will get to the point that I want them to be at, I have no doubt. But yeah, I'm actually writing a book. I've got about, let's see, nine, 10, 15, almost 20 pages done. And it's, it's well refined too. It's not like I just quickly typed it all out and I still need to go through and clean it up. Like it's all been thoroughly refined. Uh, so like 20 good pages so far. And you know, I've been talking about writing a lot recently with people in my life. Uh, I've talked about it here on the channel. And the writing thing started with uh, about a month and a half, two months ago, right when the channel was restarting, I took a vacation from work for a week. And then my partner ended up getting COVID, which affected us, uh, affected our business and slowed us down. So I was essentially working half weeks uh, for the following like three or four weeks after that. And things, things are still just a little bit slowed down, which is totally fine because rather than just, you know, relaxing and playing video games all that time, I did a lot of work on myself, and I also started doing a lot of work on the channel. Obviously, you've seen the results of that in the past, you know, six, eight weeks, whatever. And uh, I've been doing a lot of writing. And I've always really liked my ability to write. Like, when I really sit down and I'm like, I'm gonna write something good, I'm capable of doing that. Uh, the other problem being I have ADHD, <laughs> so it's it's uh, very difficult and kind of challenging to try and just sit down for hours and write something, which is why I've never really gotten super far with it, I think. But yeah, I've been writing scripts for the channel. I've been journaling. I've been just doing a lot of small writing projects and I'm just finding that I love it. Like I really, really love it. It just, something about it just comes very naturally to me and it just makes me happy. And I just, I sincerely, love it. So I've been asking myself, of course, as many of us have in our lives, I'm sure, who are know how to write, um, even just, you know, basic stuff. I'm not saying like, know how to like be an author. Like, I don't know how to be an author. I have no fucking idea. Um, but like most of us know how to write. We learned that in school. And I think a lot of us have had the thought pop into our heads at least once. Like, why don't I write a book? I have free time after work, I have free time here, I have free time there. Like, what if I wrote a book? How cool would that be? Uh, but most of us don't ever really try, because if we try, that opens us up to failure. And failure could take the form of, you know, getting distracted and forgetting where you were at in the creative process. You know, maybe you get a couple weeks in and you stop. That would feel bad. It would feel like you wasted that time. Failure could be just being really bad at writing and not actually being able to get the words onto the page or or even finishing the book and going to try to get it published and nobody will publish your book and that would feel really bad too. And there's other types of, you know, failure that I think anybody who's had this thought is kind of afraid of. I hope the audio is okay. It's a little windy out here, so I hope it's not wrecking your ears. But yeah, if there's like one thing I feel I've really been learning and internalizing recently, well, there's a lot of things, but one of the big ones is that Kind of that thing supportive parents tell you where it's like, you're capable of anything. If you set your mind to something, you can do it. You just have to follow through. And I'm more and more coming to realize that that's true. And you know, this has become more and more apparent as an adult, you know, like when I started doing Bloodborne speedruns, I never thought I could be somebody who would speed run, you know, a hardcore game like Bloodborne but I started practicing it and I did it. And I got, you know, some real competitive speed run times, which was amazing. It was like, oh wow, I guess I'm capable of that. And I could give many other examples, but I'll spare you the details. Suffice to say, we're all capable of so much. 
It's just a matter of what you allocate your resources to, specifically your time, right? And every time in the past five years that I've got this creative flow going, I've gotten into you know a good creative state, a good point in my life, all of my creative energy goes to the YouTube channel, as you would expect. Um, and because I love making YouTube content, I love creating videos, but I find creating videos uh, quite challenging, which is part of why I like it. If you, you don't know me at all, you'll know that I enjoy a good challenge. But when I'm making YouTube videos, I feel kind of like I'm, I'm swimming against the current. I'm constantly having to pull myself out of my comfort zone for mainly for the recording process. Uh, the writing is relatively easy and natural, um, but still challenging because, you know, I have to sit there and figure out what I'm trying to write. And then, of course, there's the editing process, which, well, I do love editing. I more love the end result of editing rather than the process itself. Editing can be extremely tedious at times. And for example, you know, I said this in the last vlog, but I put 40 hours into my last big video project. Hey, 40 hours is a long time, especially when you have a career in a company. Um, but I'm not trying to bash the YouTube process or anything. Like, I love making YouTube content and I'm always gonna be making YouTube content because I love it. And I don't think I could stop if I wanted to. After five years, I'm still here doing it. I'm sure I'm gonna be here in another five years and beyond. But starting writing a book has been a very interesting process because it's the first time I've committed to a large creative process that wasn't a YouTube project, right? And I'm finding myself absolutely loving it. And unlike YouTube, where I feel like I'm swimming against the current, taking myself out of my comfort zone, which is a good thing, I find writing is coming much more naturally. That's not to say that it's easy. It's still quite a challenge, but the process itself is much simpler. Rather than, you know, having to master all these different programs and constantly be, be pushing myself to understand this YouTube meta and learning all these different things that I have to learn and just like, it's like, rather than trying to speak 10 somewhat difficult languages, which would be YouTube, it's like speaking, learning to speak one very difficult language. And it's just, it's a lot simpler for one person, I think, to be a writer than for one person to try and run a YouTube channel. And you might be hearing this and be thinking, oh, are you trying to like bounce? No, I'm still here, I'm still back, I'm still, happy to be making and enjoying making content for YouTube, uh, but I wanna give this writing thing a fair chance. As of right now, about 90% of my creative efforts are going into YouTube, and maybe 10% of that is writing, and half of that writing is for YouTube. So what I want to do is give myself about six weeks to pursue this writing thing, to pursue this book, and see what I can get done if I focus 95% of my energy on it. Uh, but the Friday uploads will continue. I have got, it's gonna be filler content, frankly, I'm gonna be honest with you. It's gonna be filler content, but it's still, it's still me, it's still us, it's still content, it's still a hell of a lot better than nothing. And the majority of it is ready to go. I've got like five videos that are basically ready to go. I gotta make a couple thumbnails, but I like making thumbnails. It's a quick, easy process. I've got an actual thumbnail making video planned um, so I'll probably just record the process of making the thumbnails for these six videos and then edit that into a video. And this is going to buy me about six weeks with very little effort needed to be put into YouTube to give this writing thing a chance. And then in six weeks, I will make another vlog and I will tell you, you know, hey, this is how far I've gotten. This is where I'm at. This is what I want to do moving forward because ultimately I want to entertain you guys. That's kind of the whole relationship that we have. You give me a portion of your time and I give you something hopefully entertaining in return. And I would say if I can actually pull off writing a book, uh, let alone a seven part series like I'm planning, I know, start small, right? <laughs> but if I can actually pull that off, I feel like that will be so much more that I can give to you guys slash the world as entertainment than I'll ever be able to achieve on YouTube. And maybe that's not true, 
but I do kind of feel like I'm at a crossroads where, you know, I know pretty darn well. The, the, the YouTube path is less of an open field like it used to be for me now, and it's really starting to look like a path. Like I know what type of content I, I can make really good and really entertaining, and I know that I need to upgrade the, the video and audio quality and all that stuff, and you know, I'm working on that and blah, blah, blah. The point is, I know that I can be moderately successful on YouTube if I keep driving down this path that I'm going down right now, focusing on quality over quantity. So I, I know that I can do this. I feel it in my bones, but I need to explore this riding thing. I need to see where it goes. Um, because, you know, if I think about it in terms of like career and, you know, being the one doing these things, I have to, I have to ask myself these questions. If I think about it in terms of like career, like what would you rather be 10 years from now? A really successful YouTuber or a really successful writer with a YouTube channel that is moderately successful, probably largely in part due to your writing career. You know, it's, it's too soon to say I need to get through these six weeks, but I think most of us would be inclined to be like, yeah, being a writer would be a, a much more prestigious job. And if it comes to me more naturally and it feels like the right path, then that's the path I need to go down. YouTube will always be a part of my path. I've already said that, but I just want to reiterate, I'm here on YouTube and I'm always going to be here on YouTube, but it's just a matter of where I focus my time the majority of my time creatively and for right now i'm gonna spend these six weeks writing a book and i hope i have your guys support and i hope you you can hear what i'm saying and understand that i value and appreciate so much your attention and your the time that you give me and i don't want to jerk you around i don't want to be like hey guys i'm back new videos every friday and then dip out to write a book you know that feels shitty um, but I hope with expl the explanation that I've given, you can understand where I'm coming from, that this is something that I need to give myself the chance to explore. And we'll be talking ag about it again soon here in the next six weeks. And uh, I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend and I love your faces so much. Beardy, scruffy, mustache heart. Thanks for watching guys. I'll talk to you soon.